Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to the Soul Family Read. This is a daily collective read for whoever resonates. November 15th, 2021. Here we are, guys. Um, this is uh, centered around manifestation and spirituality, you know, love and relationships always. I just have the main feeling that relationships are how we grow, how our soul and yeah, just grows by and large. There's a large part of it. So, there are no failures, really. You know, Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> um, I, I was thinking today, like, finishing, finishing. I keep forgetting. And, um, I was thinking, like, is there something I need to finish? But it, because I think like when I get things, they're pretty direct. I'm like me. <laughs> That's how I know it's not me. It's really direct. It'd be like finish, finish, uh, finishing. So I get that really resonates. Like we're in some process of finishing using the Gilded Tarot Royale deck today. Over here. And uh, having some chai tea. Mm -hmm. Keeps me going. Rainy season here in Cancun. I'm not complaining. It's cool. We need the air conditioner. Um, beautiful weather. When it, even when it's pouring down, it's kind of beautiful. The sound of it and everything, I, I don't mind it. You know, It's a bitch when you need to go out. You know? As long as you can time everything and you don't have to go to work at a certain time, you can time it. You say, hi, you know, I got a window for like two hours. Boo, that's me. I'm going for my walk, right? Uh, such that it is. So, Let's do the four card read today and kind of see where we're at, guys. I do a lot with that. And, uh, for the bottom, where I stopped was the sun. I count the uh, bottom heavily in this reading. So, I mean, this is like a blessing. The sun is everything. It's in this overall energy. I feel like it could be the energy of being protected uh, spiritually. It's a spiritual reading. This would be like a male ancestor, a passed on father or grandfather could be uh, like uh, directly around us you know and um, I don't really think that way in terms of male I know the female um, four swords now here we are in terms of manifestation spirituality love relationships doing our work on our path and what did I say finishing finishing I guess it's finishing healing I think of it as finishing school, if I want it as finishing, but finishing healing. It's kind of, a, I, the real metaphor I get constantly, um, if you join uh, my Facebook there, I throw up a lot of poems off and on, you know, about the moth and the butterfly, the metamorphosis, breaking through the chrysalis. And, you know, I feel like we're still kind of, I am kind of in that energy. It's like, uh, the manifestation is not quite over, you know. You're, you're starting to get an idea, like, if you're like me, like, a little bit of energy coming. I mean, we got the sun here. It's a blessing. It's an angel being propped up, being guided. We're being strengthened. I pray, you know, Spirit, please guide me and protect me and give me strength. That's what I ask. Guide me, protect me, and give me strength. And that's kind of all of that right there. Uh, you guys just look up at sun. Uh -huh. I want protection. The sun gives life. Without sun, there's nothing. So, let's see what the challenge is then. <laughs> seven of Pentacles. So, Seven of Pentacles is examining the crop. And it's that uh, energy of not feeling reciprocated. Now, in this position... It's not with an ex-lover. Um, it could be disappointment in ourselves, not feeling reciprocated by our life, by ourselves. I think of it as not being, feeling of not being reciprocated sort of by the universe. It's like, almost like some deep-seated feeling of not being treated fairly for myself. I recognize this energy and I feel like I'm always dealing with it. Um, you know, it's uh, wanting to control things and, and not wanting to have to fully submit. 
uh, to something else, like the will of something else, like to really be able to say, okay, God, you know, I know now whatever happens, happens. It's meant to be. I'm going to, you know, go that way. Um, and not, you know, this is not only want to take control of it. It's uh, really counting. It's it's not really counting. It's not positive thinking. It's not uh, thinking like uh, I'm really uh, blessed uh, because I have this and I'm grateful because I have that and I'm blessed because of this in my life and I'm, I'm grateful because of that. Uh, it's kind of the opposite. It's like being critical because now you can think of it's kind of in reverse now. This is blocking us, blocking us. And so, you know, that's like a big no-no. Okay, I'll cop to that. It's a struggle. I, I struggle with that constantly. I, I think I catch my negative thoughts now. It's, it's to, you know, it's so funny because it's only mastery of your own mind. You know? If you're a strongly Plutonic personality, anyways, you're going to relate. That's really, at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, all I'm fighting for is mastery of my own mind. You know? And this is throwing up doubts, throwing up dispersions, feeling things are not good enough, feeling like you've not been reciprocated, you're not pinnacles, you haven't been paid what you're worth. This is going to the boss and saying, you know what, you haven't been paying me what I'm worth, man. But problem is, it's what's blocking, so it's not helping. Now, if we look at this turn of manifestation, well, it makes perfect sense. That is not, if, you, if we're like that, and we're going to manifest things that are not enough and not good enough. I mean, we know how this works, you know. If you're watching this, you get this, right? So the judgment card now coming in. This is advice from spirit. Holy shit. And this is just the way it is. Whatever we have always felt called up to do, this is the time to do it. The bugles, you know, we're being called up. And, you know, this is often not real easy to deal with or we would have, we wouldn't need to be called up. We already, this is not something that's in a trine and you're sharp, okay? This is some kind of inconjunct energy here, something. <clears throat> it could be a, a resolution of some kind of opposition. Not to scare anybody. Sometimes those oppositions end when a, a person passes on and is removed uh, from the picture. Uh, can also end when people kind of disown family. Um, so, this judgment here and being advice from spirit um, is this is the time as we're coming out it's like I kind of get okay we now we get to the side what's happening we're coming and do we want to be a moth or do we want to be a butterfly we're coming out of this and that's judgment and it's like it's in our hands and here's the thing like <clears throat> we don't want to be focusing all this because right now we're busy being born like Bob Dylan said, we're busy being born right now. That's what this is. And spirit's saying, you know, what what if you know, what do we choose? God, you know, Hera Harananda, a Kriya Yoga master, came to the US. I had to be, I don't know, seventy-five or something. And I meditated at the Ashram, Washington Boulevard in Arlington, Virginia, okay. I went to a lecture at the university. I wasn't even in college, I was still in high school, but I used to go to the lecture sometimes and they answered it free at the university. I ride my bike up there. So, um, and there was this guy, Harry Harinan. I said, I want to hear what he has to say. So I went to hear him, you know, and I really liked him. And finally, this guy stood up and he said, like, well, what do you think about Jesus, Harry Harinanda? And he said, like with this voice, and they told me, like, you only been to the U.S. for like three months, and just learning English, it sounded like ridiculous, like, you think it was like an SNL skit, you know, and, he, and when he says, ah, and he says, all dogs bark the same bark, and all the Christians got up and left, and then I was like, I'm in, you know, so I started going through the ashram and meditating, but he wanted me to come with him and become a disciple, and the disciples kind of presented me to him. They were, one of them was rude, which is with me, which is extraordinarily unusual. I was only like fucking 60 years, I don't know, 17 years old, maybe. And, uh, you know, um, they were kind of saying, like, you know, it's an honor that the, the master sits with you personally, you know, and takes an interest in you. Because, you know, they'd come and get me, they'd take me up there. And I meditated with him. He's amazing. Focus course on breath work, you know. But I, you know, I turned down the offer to go at the time. Uh, I was in love with my childhood sweetheart, who I later married. 
uh, the only woman in my life for the first, uh, uh, well, for nine years, we were together as I was through my adolescence and into my early adulthood. Um, that was one of the reasons. And um, I just also, I just kind of told them I don't like the guru thing and the mind kind of control. And I don't do the, I don't like the, it's creepy to me, the psycho, psychophantic energy to me, you know. All right. But then there came another time where I was called upon to make this kind of spiritual choice, not, not with anybody as impressive as the world leader of uh, Kriya Yoga. Um, but still, in 2012, and I turned that down, and it's kind of similar reasons, although I was alone in everything in terms of my being on my own, but I just told them, I said, you know, I'm not, I don't want to do that. You don't want to have a life, kind of normal life. I want a wife. I want to come home. I want to have a glass of uh, whiskey in the evening if I want coffee in the morning. No drama. And, you know, he's like, well, you know, I might have a very clear vision, you know. But this is getting called up, and it's usually someone's going to take us out of our psychic, emotional, spiritual comfort zone. It's going to ask us to step out of the comfort zone. And, you know, I think with this reading, it very well could involve a spiritual calling, you know, of some kind. That's what spirits are advising. I always take that one the most seriously. Now we're going to have the sun, remember, on the bottom of the deck. And the outcome is the magician. I got to say, <clears throat> we're, we're finishing. The word is finishing uh, metamorphosis. This is finishing metamorphosis spiritually. We're still tending to look back and not see that there was enough, feeling we're not reciprocated, made by God almost. You know, it's like, why God's like, a, you know, are you testing me or like Job energy or something, but you're not quite going along with it quite as well as Job did. Um, but nevertheless, we're being called up. And with this being the outcome, guys, I think we take the call. And this is becoming the magician. You think to Mercury. I just had to read the other day on how important right now Mercury is. We've got to watch it as it goes through the signs. Um, but it's separating quickly from Mars and Scorpio. Um, and Mercury's on a mission right now in the stars right now I mean with transits for real um, as astrologer too it's one of the things on my mind it's Mars and Mercury again it's personal energy this is the time to bust out and take control of our lives and here look at this what it is the magician this is the person who uses everything they got I mean they got credit cards they might use them they got friends they got uh, they're well balanced they're emotionally stable they're able to take action, they're brave, they're, you know, have the energy, they have the chutzpah to get up and take action, they have enough resources to make it stick, the pinnacles are not only resources, pinnacles are commitment, being solid, solid energy, and then thoughts and communication, being able to, to think the thoughts, being able to communicate the thoughts, and in astrology, this speaks a lot to the moon and the three personal planets. Mercury, Mars, and Venus being in some good alignment, either uh, by natal or sometimes just by what we make of it. You know, people will, as we grow, we tend to want to, you know, we get it. Things don't work, and so we try something else, and we do tend. So we let you look at the chart. We see ourselves kind of resolving this over time. And we end up in this position where we can, not the sun, it's overall energy. We can create like uh, our where what we want. I mean, this is like manifestation. That's the outcome here. We're heading towards. Let's say this: we're finishing what to become this new thing. You know, a moth or a butterfly. Say metaphorically. And what now? We can basically do what we want. You know, it's like maybe even just kind of understanding the very processes of manifestation how it best works for us, you know, I just know how it works for me, but uh, Cancer Moon, uh, other things, uh, Third House, Neptune, and, and Venus, um, uh, poetry, uh, music, um, things like that with intention, so, wow, uh, it's a great read, um, guys, to start the week with, if you can think of anywhere to share this, it might be appropriate, wouldn't mind, it would help me out, uh, comments help, uh, make the uh, AI think that people might actually be interested. 
uh, likes, of course, and please subscribe. Been going pretty good lately. I'm getting closer to a thousand. Thank you. And then this reading, I will promise you, I think this will be the one I do live, you know. So, you know, uh, if I screw up, it'll be live. It will, you know, I'll just keep rolling because I'm Sagittarius. I know I can do it. Screwing up and keeping it, keeping going, that's the Sagittarius way, man. Remember, you got sun here. <laughs> we got this, man.